Have you ever wanted to control servo motors as easily as moving your hand? In this video, we'll build a simple but powerful project, a joystick controlled servo system with an optional OLED display. In the first setup, we'll move two servos directly with a joystick. In the second setup, we'll upgrade it by adding an OLED screen that shows the servo angles in real time. Let's see how both versions work and how you can boil them step by step. Let's start with the basic setup, the joystick and two servos. The joystick module has two small potentiometers inside, one for the x-axis and one for the y-axis. When you move the stick, the resistance of each potentiometer changes, and the Arduino reads the change as an analog value from 0 to 1023. We connect the x-axis output VRX to analog pin A0 and the y-axis output VRY to A1. Both servos are connected to digital pins 9 and 10, which support PWM. The joysticks VCC and GND go to the Arduino's 5 volts and GND. Because the servos draw more current than the Arduino's 5 volt pin can handle, we power them through an external 5 volt supply. All grounds in the Arduino, the servos, and the external power chow must be connected together. That's essential for smooth movement and stable operation. We include the servo library and create two servo objects servo X and servo Y. In the setup function, we attach them to pins 9 and 10. Inside the loop, the Arduino continuously reads both joystick axes using analog read on a 0 and a 1. Then we map the values from 0 to 1023 into servo angles between 0 and 180 degrees. Finally, we send those angles to each servo using servo.write. This short script, only a few lines, is enough to control both servos directly from the joystick. After uploading the code, move the joystick slowly. The first servo turns left and right and the second servo moves up and down. They follow your hand's motion almost instantly. This setup is ideal for beginners and perfect for testing pan tilt systems, robotic arms or camera gimbals. Now let's make it even better by adding leaf feedback on an OLED display. We'll use a 0.96 inch OLED screen based on the SSD1306 driver. It connects to the Arduino through the I2C interface, so we only need two extra wires. SDA goes to pin A4 and SCL goes to A5. We use the Adafruit SSD1306 and Adafruit GFX libraries to control the display. Once the wiring is done, we extend the previous code by adding a few lines that print the servo angles on the screen. Right after reading and mapping the joystick values, we clear the display, set the cursor position, and print servo X and servo Y with their current angles. Finally, we call display.display .display to refresh the screen. Everything else stays the same. The joystick still controls both servos in real time. Upload the new code and power up the circuit. Now when you move the joystick you will see both servos responding just like before, but this time the OLED shows their exact angles in degrees. Move left and right, servo X changes smoothly. Move up and down, servo Y follows perfectly. You can clearly read the live angle values on the display. You can easily extend this project, add more servos, Use a PCO9685 driver or integrate it into a robot arm or camera mount. If you found this helpful, subscribe for more projects like this one and check the links in the description for schematics and the full Arduino code. Thanks for watching and see you in the next build.